Hi everyone. For this video, I'm going to talk about um, some updated features for the Yodo and the app. Uh, we've now had our player a year, the big one. Um, we've had a little one a few weeks. Um, the app is the same for both though. Um, I'm going to talk about a lot of new features that they've added, some features that they're working on, um, and also kind of do an updated compare with uh, Tony's, the Jokey, and a uh, Story Pod. Um, those all kind of seem to be asked about and how they compare. So I'm going to start with the app. Um, right here you can see that you have your library of cards. You can select which player you want on or if you want it on your phone. There is a discover section, which has different content each month. Um, this month happens to be Christmas. So they did a 24 days of Yoto content, which was pretty cool. Um, some of the clips are the full story or songs and some of them are just a couple chapters. In here is where you can do some make your own content. You can record right in the app or you can, and you can make a new playlist from those. Um, if you have the beta app, which will eventually, this will be a function for the regular app, you can share a story, um, which is nice if you have friends or family that have a Yodo, um, so that you can get more content. You can also have your family join the family account and make their own recordings. Um, so we've had some family that has done that. They can do that on their phone. They don't have to be anywhere near you, which is great. They have all this different podcasts, which is great because they even have some different language ones now and they're always adding more. There's a radio station section with a lot of different radio stations, uh, a lot of different language. There's also a sleep sound sections. Um, these ones loop, which is really nice. You can do the sleep radio or you can do the sleep sounds. Um, they will play all night. There is a freeze about 30 minutes in when it does its loop. Hopefully that will be um, changed to be kind of a smoother playback eventually. If you click on the players section, you can see all the different players. You can link people to your family account right there. Um, you can go into the settings on each player. You can look at the battery level, change the Wi-Fi, which is now easier to do. All you have to do is click on it and then click add new Wi-Fi. You hold down the two buttons on the Yodo. Um, it gives you the code, you pop it in, it walks you through it. It's much easier to add it now. Um, you can see if there's any content that needs to be downloaded, which could, you know, cause a lag, or if you're trying to use the player without Wi-Fi, um, then you can see if there's some that need to be downloaded, that's why it's not working. There's a day mode and a night mode. You can change settings of, you know, what time you want the OK Wait clock to be effect, uh, on, what time you want the uh, nightlight color to change, if you want to use that as an OK Wait clock. You can have the display. Uh, option be brighter or lighter. You can set the volume limit so they can't blast it in the middle of the night. You can change what the buttons do and then you can do the same for nighttime. Uh, you can have power saving saver settings, um, auto off, you can do Bluetooth on or off, the headphone volume limiting uh, selection. Um, if you already have volume limiting headphones you're going to want to turn that off or it'll be really quiet. Um, and then you can just kind of see the different registration codes. Um, you can go to the store right from here. You can see the news and then a little bit easier of a menu. Um, that's how you can set up a player or join a family account. It has the user guides right here, here and troubleshooting. Um, one of the newest features that people have really liked. Um, let's see. I'm going to make sure I don't do this on a one that's already in my kids' room, because they are sleeping. That's how you minimize it. Okay, so I have this one in front of me. So you can, you know, push play, and it will show you what's playing. You can now use the volume on your app. 
to turn it up, which you couldn't do prior, which is nice. You can stop it. You can change the chapters if there were different chapters. You can pause it. Um, you can also turn another one back on. Select this button right here, and there is now a sleep timer, which people have been begging for. Now, um, my issue with this is that it only gives you the option to turn it off. What I wanted for a sleep timer was more of a repeat or a loop option. Um, when I did ask Yodo about that, they said that they are working on that function, um, and hopefully it will be available here in the next uh, couple months. Um, but those are some of the updated functions of the app. You can now see what's playing. You can see the volume it's at, which machine that it's on. Um, those are all new functions that are um, really helpful and nice. So some of the differences between like what these do and like the Tony's or Story Potter jockey, jockey. So the jockey is basically a glorified Bluetooth player. It really just does Spotify. Um, some playlists that you make. It doesn't really have a whole store of content. So in my opinion, it doesn't even come close to comparing to the Yodo player. Um, the StoryPod and the Tonys are very similar. Tonys is a little bit more popular, but the StoryPod is pretty much the same thing, just like a little bit more expensive and more limited on content. The Tonys have little figures instead of the cards, which I've seen a lot of kids more so play with than actually listen to. Um, the Tonys doesn't have the nightlight feature. It doesn't have the okay wake clock. It doesn't have a pixel display. Uh, it doesn't have half those features that are in the app that I just showed you. Um, the cards are easier to store. They're also much cheaper. You can get a Yodo card for as cheap as $2 for the make your own cards. The Tonys are $15 each at least. Um, the make your own card for the Yodo holds up to around five or six hours of content. And I've seen some people even got more on there. Um, it holds up to a hundred tracks. Um, and it's also really easy to, to make. Um, the Tonys only hold 90 minutes of content um, for the Creative Tonys. Um, and most of the Tonys that you buy, the content ones, they're really short. And um, a lot of them are all central around uh, Disney characters. Um, I really love that the Yodo has a wide variety of content and also content for older kids, whereas I don't feel the Tonys really has much content for older kids. Um, Yodo has new content, um, usually the first and third Thursday of every month, but some months it's every Thursday, which is really nice. Um, they also have the Yodo Club where you get exclusive content 10% um, off the store at all times and free shipping at all times no matter how small the order. It's only $10 a month, um, so a really great deal. Um, some people have a hard time right now because they just started it in the U.S., so it is taking a little bit longer to get your club cards. Um, that's to be expected with anything that's new, and it's one of the reasons why it took them so long to get it in the U.S. I think we just need to give them some grace, and it will get better as they have it longer in the U.S. We've been really pleased with it um, and haven't had any issues with it. Um, the Yodo is very easy to put the card in. Um, my child has been able to do it since she was about 15 months old. Um, you can see the pixel display. My kids really like that, and it's easy for them to tell um, which track they want to use or what card they want to use since they can do the pic see the picture display. Um, one of the great things that Yodo has is their reward programs with the Yodo tokens. You get tokens for every purchase, and then you can use those tokens to get money off your order. Um, I've gotten up to like $40 off of an order because of having so many tokens. Um, so I really love their reward program. Um, the cards are easy to store. Um, if you look at some of my other videos, you can see that I, you can just put them in a card binder. Um, you can get those card binders for pretty cheap, uh, as cheap as like $8. Um, really easy to store, not too hard to lose. If you do lose them, you can link whatever card you lose to and make your own card. So it's not gone forever. Um, whereas you can't do that with a Tony's. Um, you can change the nightlight color to be different 
for day versus night so that you can use it as an okay weight clock um, for your child, which is nice. The screen will also change from a moon to a sun, so you can use that as an okay weight clock. Uh, the Tonys and StoryPod and all those don't have anything like that. Um, there's a screen protector on this, and I put one on this one too. Um, they also both have carrying cases, which is very nice. Um, very easy for my kids to move around. They have uh, easy to put on charger, a magnetic one for the big one, and a C cord, which isn't too bad to put on uh, for the small one. You can make your own pixel images when you make your own uh, cards, which is a really nice feature. Um, really easy to use. There's also uh, yodoicons.com that people upload those icons to. Um, that is a free site, um, which is really nice to look at when you're making your own cards. You can angle it up like that to be able to see the image at a different angle while you're you know, coloring or whatever you may do, be doing. Um, there's a um, referral code that everybody gets when you make an account that you can use to get um, yourself money off and your friends money off. Um, mine's down in the comments if you need one still. Just looking over my list to make sure that I told you everything that's great about it. Um, we really love the parental controls on these. You can lock the max volume, you know, decide what's day versus night for each of the buttons, um, the OK Wake Clock, the brightness of the pixel screen you can change. Um, you can control what is played by the app, um, even if you don't have the cards for it, like the radio stations and uh, podcast sections. There's a lot of free content for the Yodo in the app, like I showed you. Um, just a ton of free content, which is really nice. Um, some people really liked the, the Tonys or the Jokey can do um, Spotify. Um, well, the Yodo could do that too. All you have to do is press down these two buttons or, or those two and hold them down and it will do Bluetooth. And then you can play the Spotify from your phone and it will play right on the Yodo player too. Um, which is a nice option if you wanted to, to really use Spotify or Pandora or whatever. The customer service um, has been great for Yodo. We've reached out to them a few times. They always reply back within a day or two. Um, very helpful, and they're always listening to their customers. Um, you can go to their Yodo page. I think it's called Yodo Community now. And you can go to their suggestion box and add any suggestions that you want. And they really do listen to people. Um, the sleep timer was one that people had been requesting for a long time. They've been working on it for a long time. Um, and people were really excited that they listened to them and then have that option now. They're always updating features, updating content, um, and really just growing as a company. Um, as far as I'm concerned, we feel like the Yodo player is just uh, a better product, um, more content, um, nice features, um, and we've just really enjoyed ours. Um, you can see some of my other videos comparing the big versus the mini or some of the cards that we like. Uh, hopefully this has been helpful in making your choice on what you'd like to buy. Um, one other thing is that, you know, some people feel like the Tonys is better for a young child um, because they're worried that their child won't be able to put the card in. Um, my younger one was about nine months old when we got it. By the time she was about 14 months old, she could put the card in herself. Um, she's now about 20 months old and she can fully control it herself. So I don't think that the, the Yodo player is difficult at all for a young child to control and use themselves. And it's not a really a big deal for the parent to, to just turn it on for them um, and teach them just like you would teach them anything else. Hopefully this has been helpful for you to decide what one would work best. Um, and if you still need, want to go with the Yodo player, uh, my code is in the bottom in the description.